Turkey's assault on Kurdish forces in northern Syria has outraged many members of Congress who are calling for the U.S. to impose economic sanctions on Turkey to send a strong signal. Senator Chris Van Hollen spoke to VOA's Turkish service. So we're continuing to push for economic sanctions, uh, which would uh, take effect so long as uh, the Erdogan government uh, is attacking uh, our allies in the fight against uh, ISIS, uh, the Syrian Democratic Forces. Amid concern over IS, another senator asked President Donald Trump to tell Congress how he will make sure that the Islamic State group is not revived in Syria after the withdrawal of U.S. troops. Senator Chuck Schumer also made clear he is not happy about Trump's invitation to Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Frankly, it's confounding that President Trump is rolling out the welcome mat to an autocrat whose recent actions have threatened our allies, our partners. Trump sent a letter to Erdogan on the day the Turkish offensive started last month, saying, don't be a tough guy, don't be a fool. Erdogan slammed the letter as disrespectful, and a White House visit seemed uncertain. But experts say amid the storm of criticism at home and abroad over potential war crimes in Syria, both President Trump and President Erdogan hope to reaffirm the long-standing close ties between the U.S. and Turkey, NATO allies. President Erdogan looks at the landscape in the United States and he really only sees one friend in the whole country. But luckily for him, it's a pretty important friend. It's the president of the United States. Trump sees a leader in Turkey who, with whom he feels compatible for whatever reason, whether it's because they have a similar outlook on life. Makovsky told VOA, despite the letter, Trump seems to admire Erdogan's toughness and to want to work with him. Cindy Sane, VOA News, the State Department.